Hey everyone, Laura here with Rags to Rugs, and today I'd like to talk to you about how you can add solid colors to your rugs to help define the personality of it, specifically broadcloth. I love broadcloth solids because it's 100% cotton and it's just fabulous to work with. Have you ever gone to a fabric store and you picked out a whole slew of fabrics and you brought them home and you washed them and you cut them and you staged them and you connected your strips and you got about maybe two thirds of the way through your rug and you realized something was lacking, something was missing. Or maybe you like to cook and you went into your kitchen and you had a whole pot of wonderful veggies and they steamed and they stewed all day. And at the end of the day, you went to taste it and it was missing something. It was lacking and maybe, maybe just some sprinkles of salt is all that it needed. But it's kind of like that with our rugs. Sometimes our rugs just need something and that something might just be a solid color. So I want to show you three different ways that you can use solid broadcloth fabric to help influence the personality of your rug. One of which is adding a band of color. Now this is an old, old rug. I'm almost embarrassed to show this, but anyway, if this is a tartan plaid um, flannel, and I deliberately did this. I wanted the rug to be entirely this and add a black band. And so I used a broadcloth to do that. And it, it turned out absolutely wonderful. And by the way, if you're adding a, a band of color and you'd want to avoid the stair step, We've got another video on this channel, so check it out. It's a really, really good video. But anyway, so this is one way that you can use solid colors to influence the personality of your rug by adding a band of color. Now, another way that you can use solid colors is with a scallop border. And again, just like before, we've also got a, a video on our YouTube channel that has the scallop border on it. But this one is from our um, Country Red Rug and Roll Fabric Collection. I'm making this for a customer, so I'm just working on it now as we speak. And I thought, I'm going to run this by here to add the espresso brown scallop border to it. It just added, in my opinion, a wonderful personality to this already beautiful rug. It could be, too, the third way that you can use solids is to influence your color palette by introducing many different colors. In this particular case, you can see all the different, there's the navy blue, which is one of our existing ones, but I've also had some other blues, some aqua and some teal and whatever, that I incorporated into those print fabrics that I bought from the store. And so this, is, this one also has the scallop border on it, but if the fabric that you've selected isn't quite there, sometimes, like for instance, this is our candy cane collection, I could easily add a black, to this or red to this and it completely change up the personality of this rug and I may do that who knows so I'm going to put a plug in for our broadcloth fabric rolls a lot of people criticize me for doing this that I take advantage of our YouTube videos to sell our product but why not because we have some fabulous products you guys and if you haven't already tried it you need to case in point is our fabulous broadcloth solid rolls. Now each one of these is six yards of fabric and we're not talking about strip yards of fabric, we're talking about yards of fabric. Like if you went to Joann's or Hobby Lobby and you bought six yards of fabric and we've worked these into rolls, they're two inch wide, they're 100% cotton and they're bias cut, which means you're never going to have any threads ever working with your, your fabric rolls. So right now we just have got these in, we've got navy blue, We've got um, uh, bluegrass green. We've got a real red, a beautiful, beautiful, rich red. We've got purple. Oh, this one I'm so excited about. This is our tea stain, and I've been, I've been wanting this one for so long. So we've got a tea stain color. Um, we've got burgundy, we've got ebony black, and we've got that espresso brown that I used in this rug. These are all in stock, and you cannot beat the price. In addition to um, using them for your uh, crocheted rugs, these fabric rolls are ideal for your toothbrush rugs as well. Your um, working strip, to use these, you'll fall in love with them. Trust me, they're amazing. In addition to that, you can also consider using these, these fabric rolls for your twine weaving frame. Now this is one of our placemat frames and we happen to have used the navy blue, this one here, to warp this um, placemat. 
one roll of this is enough to warp eight placemat frames, four um, table runners, or two deluxe rugs. Um, and you can get all these frames from our company as well. And you'll have plenty of leftover fabric. So anyway, so thank you so much for um, visiting us and, and, and watching our video. And we hope that you'll consider our broadcloth solids, not only to warp your frame, not only to use in your, your um, toothbrush rugs, but also to help influence the personality of your crocheted rugs as well. So anyway, thanks so much for joining us. Continue to um, connect with us. We've got many, many more videos that we're going to be uploading to our channel. In the meantime, make it a great day.